It's time now for some tough love on the subject. The reason there is so much violence and chaos in the black precincts is the disintegration of the African-American family. He's got a point. In fact, he's got more than a point. Bill? Raised without much structure, young black men often reject education and gravitate towards the street culture, drugs, hustling, gangs. Nobody forces them to do that. Again, it is a personal decision. He is right about that, too. But in my estimation, he doesn't go far enough. Because black people, if you really want to fix the problem, here's just five things that you should think about doing. Here's number five. Pull up your pants. Number four now is the N-word. Now number three. Respect where you live. Start small by not dropping trash, littering in your own communities. I've lived in several predominantly white neighborhoods in my life. I rarely, if ever, witness people littering. I live in Harlem now. It's an historically black neighborhood. Every single day I see adults and children dropping their trash on the ground when a garbage can is just feet away. Just being honest here. Number two, finish school. You want to break the cycle of poverty? Stop telling kids they're acting white because they go to school or they speak proper English. Over the course of a career, a college grad will make nearly a million dollars more than a high school graduate. That's a lot of money. And number one, and probably the most important, just because you can have a baby, it doesn't mean you should, especially without planning for one or getting married first. More than 72% of children in the African-American community are born out of wedlock. That means absent fathers. And the studies show that lack of a male role model is an express train right to prison. And the cycle continues. So please, black folks, pay close attention to the hip-hop and rap culture that glorifies everything I just mentioned. Thug and reprehensible behavior. A culture that is making a lot of people rich, just not you. 